Hey everybody, I just wanted to jump in real fast and let you know about when the next Actual Plays cast party is going to be. That's going to be on Tuesday, November 1st. You'll be able to catch us live on the Complex Action Actual Play YouTube channel. And uh, it'll be at 8.30 p.m. on Tuesday, November 1st. That's Eastern U.S. time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. Um, we're going to talk about all sorts of things like what's been going on in the show so far, what we're looking forward to, um, hopefully have some questions from the audience, so send those along as well. Like I said, that is going to be on the Complex Action Actual Play YouTube channel, and uh, you'll see an event in there ahead of time. I'll schedule it, and you'll be able to catch the stream. Also, you could go to the Complex Action website, uh, complexaction.net slash actualplay, and um, you should be able to get to the YouTube channel from there. So I uh, hope to see you out there. We had fun last time at the uh, cast party. So it's a good opportunity to get a chance to talk to uh, the people who are helping to entertain you with their shatter and play. So uh, now, without any further ado, here's the show. <laughs> listening to the complex action actual play podcast thor the god of thunder awaits in the wilds of columbia to test those shadow runners who would be foolish enough to interfere with his journey never fear however as our ragtag team of runners employs a variety of tactics led by the courageous elric who charges into battle on the back of his fox lion steed Will the troll be slain? Find out in episode 10, Thor. Anyway, uh, there's Thor. He's just kind of hanging out over there. And he's got his magical hammer. And Did you guys happen around? to bother to stealth in? Not unless we had no. uh, any kind of inclination that... Uh, I'm not going to actually... Close. I'm not actually going to attempt a stealth skill check because that uh, I would roll one die. But uh, we are under a concealment effect, so you know we are harder to spot. Yeah. yeah. You have eyes on the target. Uh, yeah, sort of. At that point, I'll launch a uh, party girl, my uh, Nissan Roto drone. So, uh, how do we want to approach this? Hey, we're uh, just kind of look around for a sec. How do we want to approach this? At least get behind him. All right, I'm going to start triggering off the different preparations that people have on them. Uh, do you guys want me to roll for this? Uh, you can't for me because I'm not. I don't recall you saying what strength and stuff they were. Okay, so my increased reflexes goes off on myself, and an armor spell goes off on Leroy. Leroy, you have four extra points of armor. Woohoo! An armor spell goes off on Pillar. Pillar, you have two extra points of armor. Excellent. Pillar, is your agility at least, uh, or is your agility five or less? Yes. And is it already enhanced by something else? Nope, and it's success and rounded up. Then it goes up by four. Perfect. That's all I got. You the best. <laughs> that one worked nicely. Okay, so we have uh, probably less than five minutes of uh, magical um, enhancements. Whatever we're going to do, we better do it in that time. Go. Is that what we want to do? We want to just go on him? Well, by go, I don't mean jump on him or something. I just... Do what you're gonna do, Leroy. Can you sneak around behind him and try to get him from surprise? And we'll go for I'll go for a frontal attack, and I'll back up with some magic. And I'm gonna be coming in airborne. Get scoot out so we don't get hit with an AOE. I'm gonna roll my sneaky sneak. Yeah, good idea. Spread out. And I'll be jumped into the roto. I'll still be riding on my fox lion. All right. Seven hits on my sneaky. So are you guys? Let's break it down. Are you attempting? Are you attempting to uh, enter combat and do a surprise test, ambush the guy? Yeah, essentially. I think that's the plan. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> are you all staying together or are you spreading out? I'm spreading, yeah, spreading out. out. So I'm hoping Leroy can get behind him because he's unaware of his attacker, OP tactics. Yeah, that, that was kind of my plan was to sneak behind him. And... Yep, so I have my uh, spirit. Uh, one service was to use concealment. Another one is to act as a mount while using movement power on itself. And the third uh, service I'm going to request of it is to assist us in this upcoming combat, favoring confusion and fear powers over direct confrontation. 
but prioritizing enemy spirits first. Okay. And All I'll right. kind of keep it a bit of a distance, but I want to keep a lot of sight on any allies that I can, as well as uh, Thor. All right, well, let's go ahead and roll our surprise tests. We get a bonus for being the surprisers? Um, yeah, you said uh, Leroy gets a bonus because of his successful stealth. You said you got seven hits on that, didn't you? Yeah, I only keep six, though. Yeah, that was that was enough. I believe isn't that um if you're ambushing don't you isn't that just tip you get like a plus three don't you I know, something like that depends if we're on open ground and we can see him and all these things but it's at least a three and you can let's just call it a plus three we'll say that it shakes out to that because of conditions weather blah 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 perfect okay well i got my three hits then what do we roll for this sorry reaction plus intuition plus three correct Leroy, did you trip? I think I might have. Either that or I was waiting for the signal, not realizing I was supposed to be the signal or something along those lines. Step on a cat. Well, that was does, my surprise. Does, <laughs> not my does that mean Leroy did not did not succeed in surprising? I got one hit on my surprise. All right. <laughs> Four for payday. So, looks like everyone but Leroy succeeds at the surprise test. <laughs> which is funny since he was the one initiating the surprise. I feel like they were just, like, he's sitting there waiting for the opportune moment, and everybody's like, all right, let's just go. All right, so everybody, so I guess that means everybody, but uh, everybody rolls initiative, and I'm reminding myself, tell me if I'm wrong, everybody rolls initiative, it's just Leroy does not get to act the first the first uh, round, right? Anybody who is surprised does not get to act on the first pass. Correct, pass, yeah. He technically gets left, you just can't do anything to the bad guy. Ah, fair enough. Theory, I think he can run away. <laughs> <laughs> Hope that he doesn't. I mean, what do I need to run away for? It's not like he knows I'm here. That's true. I had something cool I want to try, so I'm going to edge my initiative roll. I rolled garbage on that. Would you be kind as to tell us the murder troll so I can put him in order? Yeah, hold on a second. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure why it's not letting me do something, so hold on a second. Okay. This is irritating me, but I'm going to roll with it. And one second. All right. Um, so who goes first with you guys? Elric at 31. Elric at 31? Are you, I guess, in the astral plane? <laughs> no, um, I used an edge to roll five dice. Oh, nice. All right. Well, Elric definitely goes first at 31. So um, I see this troll right thor he's like meditating at the edge of the pond or something correct he's got his hammer is like sitting next to him um it's attached to his uh it's like in a sort of sling on his side okay i'm going to um use a free action to make sure that i have our party covered under spell defense everyone i can see at least and then i'm going to Use magic fingers, because I have a force four magic finger spell up from before, to uh, take his hammer away from him. Uh, I'll try to do it as gently as possible at first, but uh, kind of yank it away as soon as I feel like I can to try to pull his hammer away from him. All right. Go ahead and give me um. Give me a. Uh, I guess this would. What would you call this? Like just an agility test. Um, sure, I guess, using the agility of the Magic Fingers spell. Yeah. That would be two hits. All right, he, um, you're able to get it, and you pull it away, and he is able to turn around and grab it, but, um, he, he's not, like, he's kind of clumsily holding it, so he's not going to be able to, like, wield it, so to speak, yet, but he, he was able to turn around and get it. He didn't seem to be too caught off guard. Okay, well, it's worth a shot. Who's next after 31? Payday at 17. All right, well, uh, what's your what's your initiative score? Like okay, what's, What initiative? 17. On 19, my fox line goes. He's going to confuse, use the confusion power on uh, Thor. Okay. Thor re, uh, resists with logic plus willpower. I don't believe counterspelling helps. Sorry, what initiative did you say your Foxian was on? 19. Uh, that's probably not going to work. Uh, two hits in the first attempt. 
Okay. Carry on. All right. What is um? What is your initiative attribute? That is what you check to test a tie, right? There is no initiative attribute. Nope. It's uh... edge, reaction, intuition, and charisma are the four tiebreakers in order. So edge Just first. Remember Eric. Yep, edge first, then reaction, then intuition, then charisma. So what's Leroy's edge? Uh, my edge is one. All right, so... It's payday, not me. I'm at like five, because I failed my test. Oh, that's right. Well, Thor, if if no one else is going at 17, then Thor is going to go. Payday goes at 17 as well, but... Oh, okay. What's payday's edge? Two. All right, so Thor still goes first. And he is going to take an action to to gain control of his hammer and say and yell raise it high up into the air and yell um he yells someone seeks to to steal Mjolnir Next after seventeen Pillar on eleven. How far am I from this dude? Well I guess if payday's turn at this point because he is at seventeen. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Bede is going to unleash some lightning of his own and uh, hit him with a uh, burst of uh, stick and shock from, uh, okay. from the uh, shotgun mounted on the on the drone. Tell me how many hits you get. Five hits. All right. One net. All right. So what's the uh, modified damage on that? Would be uh, uh, 11 damage. Is that 11 stun? What's the base damage on that gun? Uh, the base damage is 10s. All right. Oh, and that's taking the stick and shock into account. Yeah, the stick and shock is already in account there. Uh, All right. And that's minus five AP, right? Correct. And since it was a burst, he would have had minus two on his defense. So, got it. I don't know. All right. You uh, you you hit him with some. Um, he doesn't seem too affected by it, but uh, you hit him. Next up would be, I guess, Pillar now, 11. All right. How far away is he? Um, from you, he's, uh, we'll say he's about, uh, we'll say he's about 15 to 20 meters. All right. I'm going to move 18. Yeah, I'm not smart. I'm going to move 18 meters closer to him and then shoot him. Nice. Now, remember, it is raining, and I guess you're moving I mean, I wasn't sneaking, so uh, yeah, in the concealment, that's all I got. I got six hits. Doing a double tap uh, with my <laughs> with my taser. <laughs> How many hits did you get? Six. Oof, one net hit. It'd be six S minus five. Oh, sorry, that seven taser. S minus five because of double tap. All right. He seems unaffected. That's a good sign. <laughs> you hit him. But he's just, you know, I mean, this is a big guy with some armor on. How close did you get? Pretty close. Pretty close. Within two meters or so. <laughs> two meter within two meters of the uh, giant troll now, now holding um, a hammer oh, up into the sky. <laughs> I would like to pull defense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's next after eleven? Uh, me, but I don't get to go because I've already right. deducted my. So we're starting back around again. Yep, which would be Elric with twenty-one. Let me get this straight. The 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 drone shot him from above, just annoyed him. I tried to take his hammer away with my magic spell, and he just grabbed it back and yelled. And then Payday walks up to a couple meters away and tries to zap him with a taser, which just seems to have no effect whatsoever. My name is Pillar, but yes. What did I say? Payday. Oh, sorry. Yes, Pillar. Uh, that's not good. Um, he's a tough troll. Or he's an illusion. Do something. All right, so uh, yeah, Elric is going to have to think for a minute uh, as I look up the specs and a spell quick. Trick. He's out of this combat if he's thinking for a minute. Step out of it, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna that's look that's up approximately 20 combat turns. Yeah, I didn't mean a minute literally, of course. <laughs> Let's see, I've got a levitate spell. What does it take to levitate a troll who doesn't want to be? Technically, you, you only need, like, two net hits, because that'll be oh, 400 kilograms. He only has to defend with strength plus body. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that'll work just fine. <laughs> yeah, that's that's got to be low. Yeah, why the frag not? Uh, or six levitate spell. I'll pre-edge it. 
Well, exploding sixes are nice, but I ended up with eight total hits finally. Wow. For this, do you need to know net hits? Um, if I've got net hits, then I can levitate him. Yeah, you succeed. I'm going to levitate him straight up six meters. Ooh. All right. Well, he's six meters up in the air now, holding his uh, his hammer high up in the air as well. And I take no drain. So that was on uh, 21, correct? Um, I'm also going to yell, Paul! Yep. <laughs> My spirit on nine of second pass is going to use his confusion power on him, opposed by his logic and willpower. There's, um, someone else is going before nine. Okay, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, in the middle of the, uh, near the shore, of, near where he lifted up, two um, spirits are now going to manifest. You guys had seen them banging around, but now that they're manifest, you can see they manifest as, um, they look like um uh, they look like uh valkyries um winged valkyries and um you know with viking armor and they're like women if you don't know what a valkyrie is they're flying in the air and um they uh well manifesting it that's a uh, that's what they do for this turn oh thank ghosts they're not a uh, spirits <laughs> and then um um, between the two of them, they're flying in the air. On the ground is another giant, um, fiery uh, humanoid, but looks like a giant, and it's a fiery figure that appears. So this now would be a, probably a bad time to point out that I, uh, I kind of skipped the whole banishing course. <laughs> so yeah, three manifested spirits now. Um, with with presumably their conjurer floating above them. <laughs> All right, that, that changes what my spirit's going to do on nine. It's going to charge at one of the spirits. Uh, knowing that fire spirits have the energy aura, it's going to go after one of the Valkyries. So my beast spirit is attacking a Valkyrie. All right. Is it using a regular unarmed attack? Yep, it zips right up to the Valkyrie because it's using its movement power on itself and uh, takes a bite out of her. Basically, a straight-up melee attack, but it's, you know, it's not a non-magical attack, so it has a chance of hurting it. Yep. Nice. That would be six hits. Wow. All right. What's the base damage on that? A strength of eight. So eight. Okay. And you do not get your immunity to magical weapons hardened armor against it. That's right. You're yeah. right about that. Ooh. Man, this beast did uh, quite a number. Go, Fox Lion! I'm totally conjuring you again someday. It needs to be like an Elric steampunk fox. Basically, it has to have, it has to have goggles. It's a beast spirit, so I don't know. So it doesn't take it out completely, but yeah, the 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 spirit of beast Fox Lion runs up and leaps through the air and takes a huge chunk, like just jaws clamp right down on um on the you know right on the torso or near the arm of this uh, valkyrie right around its wing let's say on the shoulder and uh and she screams as she gets pulled you know to the ground by this fox lion so that is that spirit's turn that was on nine um who's after nine we got sevens right yeah payday on seven so Thor is going uh, first on seven, and um, now you can resist a levitation in some way, can't you? Body. He had his chance. So he's just stuck in the air until it's uh, until otherwise. And if he has a counterspelling skill, he could try to dispel it. Right. Other than that, without having something to grab onto, I don't think he can do much about it at this point. Uh, what was the, this? It was a four six spell, correct? Yes. And you've got a magic of six. Yep. All right, so go ahead and roll that 12 dice for me. Uh, four hits. All right, so he's able to dispel it, but that means he dropped six meters, right? Yep. It probably doesn't hurt him any. Doing my due diligence, though. All right, so yeah, he falls onto the... He lands onto the ground, and he's crouched now. He, he landed on his feet, but he's crouched. And that's his turn. Um, so that's payday next, or payday, or uh, I think payday has more edge. So payday. 
All right, I will take recoil into consideration here and uh, fire another uh, semi-automatic burst. Five hits. That'll give him minus two defense right. again. Yep. And that was another same as before. One net hit. That means 11S, right? Correct, yes. Ooh, you definitely... You hit... The, the burst of the stick and shock hit him in some more... You know, before you just maybe got him in like the foot or something, and now he um, you get him more in like the shoulder and, and abdominal area. So that was a much more substantial hit. Let's take this guy down. Stop messing around out there. So, Leroy, time to be a ninja. So I got four hits on throwing some bolas at him. It's up to you whether or not he has any idea up here. I think you did succeed in your stealth, didn't you? I would hope so. With seven hits. Keep in mind, concealment power isn't helping you at this point, but by that point, you'd already get gotten in a position, though. Um, he got uh, you got four net hits on that, so he got so, eight. Yeah, I think it's just isn't it just agility and gymnastics to resist a bola shot anyway? Uh, I, I have okay. no idea. When thrown to hit a target, make a attack test. Do uh, yeah, and if they have to make an agility plus gymnastics to avoid falling prone if it hits. Oh, right, okay. But it's a normal reaction plus intuition to avoid it? Yeah, because the, uh, the agility gymnastics test is a threshold of the net hits. All right, well, you got three net hits, but he fell. So he he landed on the ground, he goes to stand up, and then you wrap the the bolas, you know, fire from, what, that's an underbarrel from your gun? I can also throw them, and in this case, they were thrown. Oh, they were thrown. Well, so you, you know, wind it up and throw it out as he's standing up, wraps around his legs, and he goes to fall, um, where he goes to go forward with his hammer raised and then falls onto the ground. And Elric, who is currently riding on a fox lion that's biting a Valkyrie spirit, uh, after having levitated this troll, uh, looks over at Leroy, who's just throwing his bullet and thinks, wow, that guy is such a badass. Um, next up though, is a spirit of fire, a fire giant. Uh, just in case it matters, um, I do have spirit affinity, spirits of fire. <laughs> so they do tend to, you know, think upon me favorably if they uh, have other, you know, unless they have specific <laughs> orders to attack me, J just so you know. They're, uh, they're, they're concerned, they're concerned mostly about the, uh, the giant fox lion. So go ahead and roll an unarmed combat for that, uh, for your spirit. Unarmed combat or melee defense? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a um, melee defense. Yes, I know, but I still insist on saying melee. <laughs> <laughs> I do the like same thing. Okay, Fox Lion got five hits to defend. Ooh, well, you he manages to dodge, so you guys are safe as the uh, spirit of fire. This giant lumbering thing comes in and swings and misses. Um, does anybody go after uh, seven? Hello. Nope. I went full defense. That's right. So yeah, fortunately for Pillar, um, the troll that was about to wreak vengeance on her <laughs> fell to the ground. All right. So I think Elric can is going next at what like eleven now. Yep. Um, well, as far as I know, and correct me if I'm wrong, Elric would probably know this, but fire spirits don't have any particular resistance to damage of fire spells. They do not. That's good, because Elric's going to um, point his wand at the fire spirit, and I'm going to rip off a force 10 flamethrower spell. Woo! And I really hope it hits. Okay, after edge number three, I've got seven hits. Hmm. Your uh, flamethrower spell uh, misses. Oh, frag! Sorry. <laughs> uh, now I have to roll for drain. And I take uh, two physical drain. As all of a sudden, uh, basically, blood pours out of Elric's eyes and ears. And he kind of grabs his head and screams a bit. Oh! Next up will be this, uh, um, the sister Valkyrie. The other Valkyrie that did not get attacked is going to um, try to um, attempt to save its friend. 
So let's do a... Four hits and defense test. Yeah, thank you. All right, so it needs to... Uh, let's see. It needs to roll against 5S damage for just a regular melee attack. All right, he takes two. And um, that was a... Does anybody else have any anything? I guess Elric goes again, but anybody else? Elric goes twice more, and that's it. I just wants more. I don't know if he more. wants to right now. Yeah, frag this. I'm going to make this flamethrower thing work. I got another shot at it. Um, I'm going to be a bit more judicious about my spell casting though, and go with the Force 7. And that would be five hits. Still at the Fire Spirit? Yep. One net. Okay, so he's looking at 8 uh, fire damage, AP minus 7 if it matters, which it probably doesn't. Because it doesn't his armor. And I uh, don't take it. What was the damage again? Uh, I got 1 net, so that it was damage 8. Alright, he gets hit pretty hard direct with a, what was a flamethrower spell? Yep. Alright, that's everybody rolling initiative. Oh, I think you forgot to do something with the Valkyrie that was uh, bitten. Unless it lost its second pass because of a... Yeah, it did. It, it lost okay. its pass because right. of damage. Thank you for reminding me, though. All right, so... Um, anybody going higher than 24? I don't know. Nobody told me they're still. <laughs> uh, 23 is my fastest. 11. 22. Hey, uh, does Pillar have any sort of reflex-enhancing things? Nova Coke. Drugs. I've really got to mix you up and increase your reflexes concoction then. Might not stop her from doing the Nova Coke. Right? I only did the take jazz because <laughs> I just didn't want to put that on top of the Nova Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, the Spirit of uh, spirit of Air is going to be going first, the uh, Valkyrie, and it's going to continue to try to um, deal with the Spirit of Beast that was attacking its Friend. I'm making a straight up attack or doing something else? I think it's just going to go with straight up attack again. Uh, fox line gets five hits on defense. Jeez, that fox line is fast. Misses. So the spirit of fire is coming in. Um, and there is um, there's a drone in the area, right? No, no, no. No, no, no <laughs> drones. That has been shooting at its uh, conjurer. No, 30 meters up. It doesn't look up. <laughs> Does it go before 23? Yep. 22. Okay. Um, let's see. How about reaction plus intuition from the drone? Are you jumped into the drone? I am, yes. So reaction plus intuition. Four hits. All right. Well, then never mind. That's what I like to hear. Those drones are, <laughs> drones are fragile. All right. Well, uh, there's someone on 23 then? Yeah, that'd Elric. be me. All right. Well, Elric is up. Well, uh, I'm going to uh, drop my uh, Magic Finger spell because it's not going to be of any use at this point uh, with a free action. And then I'm going to blast the spirit with another 4 7 flamethrower. Yeah, only four hits. You got one net. Oh, okay. That's eight damage. AP minus seven. I gotta say it's strange from having played third edition Shadowrun where like the indirect combat spells like Flamethrower were not really much use and the direct ones like Mana Bolt were the way to go. And now it's the exact opposite. Yeah. I take no drain. All right. So you blast the fire spirit, the giant fire giant, so to speak, with another flamethrower that hits it directly. And it uh, wraps itself around the the flamethrower, engulfs the spirit, and the spirit kind of dissipates and flitters away. Elric yells up, "Holy drag! I can't believe that worked!" One down. Good work, kid. After twenty three, twenty two, with payday. Yeah, I am going to uh, att attempt. Uh, I'm going to go for an aimed shot this time. All right. Who are you shooting at? The troll still? Yes, yeah. Thor. Is an aim single shot or is a uh, still burst? Uh semi-auto, so yeah. 
it's still a single shot. So gotcha. Six hits actually this time. Well, three net. So what that's 13 S that's correct. Yep. All right. You hit him again with a nice solid stick and shock, but he, um, Oh, and yes, he, um, he, after writhing a little bit, he's, you know, he's kind of, I mean, he's on the ground. Um, so you hit him and he convulses and rides a little bit and then falls limp and um the spirits uh feeling no longer compelled to follow an unconscious summoner they um they go about and and go on and that's our payday so they disappear the valkyries you know flap their wings once and then whoosh, back into the astral and into the metaplanes and you're a, the troll is laying on the ground limp with a, an open hand in the on the on the handle of Mjolnir the legendary hammer <laughs> splashed one god of thunder come out wow. of oh. that was so bad that was that was some crazy, crazy drag there anybody got cuss for this I we probably should have grabbed some of those Mage hood or anything? Let me look through my gear. You know what? Oh, I didn't think to bring any of that stuff. <laughs> I actually have mage cuffs and a mage mask and class deal restraints on my nice. character sheet. I figured you did. You were kind of going with a bounty hunter thing a little bit, so I would yeah, be the fox line. Or cops off the back of the fox line as it uh, fades away. All right. And I will leave the uh, GMC Phoenix at this point. And uh, bring the girl with me, and we're going to go and get in the van. I'm going to conjure up a 4-6 Earth Spirit. Can, uh, can I be that guy and say this might be a good spot to time out? Well, this is the end of everything, so... Okay, I wasn't the... sure how much more we had uh, we had in mind. Yeah, this is um just wrapping up kind of stuff, so got it'll it. only be a couple more minutes. I got uh, four hits on my summoning. All right, two net hits, so four drain. Uh, take some drain from that, but I'll have the uh, Earth Elemental Manifest materialize. And it materializes uh, sort of a round Thor in the form of a big old earthen throne. And it'll use its movement power in itself and uh, basically carry Thor back towards the van for us. I have all drones returned to the GMC Phoenix. Yeah, it can do that. Not a problem. Uh, make sure we recover Mjolnir. I got it. And uh, make sure we don't have it anywhere near us during the meet. Yeah. Because <laughs> they didn't pay extra for that. I think they said they wanted it, remember? I was hoping we could turn that into a payday. If we can turn it into a payday, great. But uh, it should be a big one because this is some sort of powerful focus. I haven't even had a chance to look at it yet. But uh, they paid us money for uh, Thor. I do, yes. Uh, th that was actually my special. one of my specializations is what I have my master's degree in. Right. Yes. Uh -huh. It's getting a little testy. <laughs> and, uh, granted, I can see if you can lose track of it. My, my doctorate was in alchemy, but uh, a little more specific. Never mind. Uh, yeah. Got it, bud. He's uh, a little money hungry, isn't he? Really? You want a car? Try taking the bus, man. I like it. Money hungry? Right. I mean, this is, this is like, oh, I don't know. Uh, let me put it in terms like, I don't know, a, a diamond necklace. If you could pick up a diamond necklace on the side... What would you think of that? Were we hired to recover a diamond necklace and Thor, or just Thor? Think of it that way. I like his way of thinking. We might have All to right. sit on it for a bit, but um, I know someone who will give us a pretty pretty uh, penny for it. So the uh, the real operative question is: Are you guys uh, are you guys going to give the focus over with with Thor, or are you holding on to it? Give it up, man. They know he has it. We're on the side of keeping it. Gotta keep it if you want. Was it part of the deal? That. I don't care about keeping it, but the the hammer is its own deal. Not opposed to getting some more Nuyen out of it. See how forceful they are about it. After all, they were really tight lipped about the magically active insane troll for the price that they were offering. I was upfront about it. Could have not told us at all. Oh, Drexis, you're the one who has to make any sort of special negotiating extra money thing happen, so. I already asked up front if they wanted the folk eye. Dude said he wanted the folk eye. We knew that going into it. Let's go back and talk to him. Let's just get paid. All right. Well, 
he will be uh, quite ha- pleased that you were able to bring him in um, alive. And you guys will all get your 5,000 new yen apiece. Pleasure doing business with you, Higgs. Yeah, not a problem. This is a good work you guys did here. Prompt, too. You guys found him pretty quick. Oh, he uh, took a hostage. We had to keep moving. Yeah, that and he didn't exactly cover his tracks. Yeah, he, um, not the smartest, not the smartest criminal, I guess. Um, just surprised you guys, uh, found him so quick. Um, good work, good work. So he pays you guys and you'll all get, a uh, five karma. Does he ask about the hammer? Um, were you just going to give it to him or were you going to wait for him to ask about it? Pillar is going to try to give it to him, but she probably didn't have it in her hand, so somebody else is trying to sneak it up. <laughs> the question is, is she worthy to lift it? <laughs> I am a seven-strength orc. I'm sure Pillar can lift it. Pillar yeah, will find out if she can lift it. <laughs> Elric's of mind to kind of leave it in the van, but he won't challenge Pillar if she does something she'll, different with it. She'll give you a stern look when you do that, and we'll take it out of the van with the trouble. All right, well... He takes it and he says, ah, thank you very much. Um, and uh, doesn't say much more about it, but um, he's uh, he's very pleased. Keep my number, Eggs. If you need anything else, let us know. Yeah, this was uh, really good work, you guys, and, um, and uh, very expedient. So thank you. Hey, you're welcome. You got it. Higgs definitely, definitely more liked... More valuable as uh, employees than, you know, targets. <laughs> just gonna grab him by the back of the, the scruff of the jacket and start pulling him out <laughs> thanks so much for listening we really hope you enjoyed the show this show would literally not be possible without the generous support of our patrons over at Patreon if you like the show and you want to help support it head on over to patreon.com slash complex action supporting can get you access to GM notes and all sorts of other rewards across this show and other shows done on complex action that's patreon.com slash complex action to help out there were several npcs and organizations which were provided by patrons of complex action and in this episode that one was the location where Thor the Troll was located, the Upaha Swallow, and was submitted by Bahiro Mengistu. Thank you very much. The character art seen on our YouTube page and various social media places was done by Ethan Brewerton. Check out his awesome Shadowrun artwork at esbrewerton.tumblr.com. The background music in this episode is brought to you by Prism Shard. To hear more of his Shadowrun-inspired music, head on over to soundcloud.com slash prism-shard and uh, give him some love. The Topps Company, Inc. has sole ownership of the names, logo, artwork, marks, photographs, sounds, audio, video, and or any proprietary material used in connection with the game Shadowrun. The Topps Company, Inc. has granted permission to Complex Action to use such names, logos, artwork, marks, and or any proprietary materials for promotional and informational purposes on its websites, but does not endorse and is not affiliated with Complex Action in any official capacity whatsoever.